and the hands of the potter are dirty, reflecting the work that must be done on the clay that comes from nothing. And anybody who takes a minute to think about where you are today, just take a minute to think about where you are today. Just take a minute and think about where you are today and reflect back on all of the dirt, all of the mess, all of the confusion, all of the pain, all of the sickness, all of the heartache, all of the trouble, all of the trial, all of the difficulty, all of the disappointment, all of the despair, all of the depression, all of that that you have come through, all of the addiction, all of the debt, all of the times when you didn't know which way to turn. Think about all of that and God got you out of it. Made you into something. Got his hands dirty messing around with you. You know you ought to give God praise. After what he's brought you through. After what he's gotten you through. And he was willing to get in it with you. Hallelujah. Tell somebody you're in the hands of God. You're in the hands of God. That's what God wanted Jeremiah to see. I need for you to see and I need for you to go tell my people you're in my hands. See that the clay is in the hands of the potter. And in this story, the potter, of course, represents God. The clay represents us. The wheel is a process through which God takes us to turn us into something of importance and significance. 